absolutely nothing you can't accomplish. Nothing, I don't care, test, I don't care what it is. Whatever you're going through in your life, you should feel like you could beat it, all right? The day you become content, the day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. If you're not where you want to be, it's because you're not who you need to be right now. And dreaming and hoping is not going to change your situation. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with dreaming. We'll talk about that. I'm not talking about, you know, not having a vision. You have a vision, but listen to me. You are where you are because of who you are. And if you're going to get somewhere else, you're going to have to change. You can be, you can have, you can do whatever you want, but you're going to have to free yourself and stop being a victim and waiting for somebody else to open up an opportunity for you, to open up that door for you, to do for you. If you don't do for yourself, I apologize. I apologize. I wish they would man up and tell you what they need to tell you. Your boss would say they're sorry. Whoever owes you an apology, but trust me, you might die and never get one. And if you're waiting on that, you might be in a hostage situation for the rest of your life. Your dream will not become a reality until you shift from not important to somewhat important to very important to an emergency. You hear me? Some of you have been knocked out by life and you got up and saw the blood and you, oh, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. It's not always going to be easy. They're not going to give it to you. They're not going to give you success. They're not going to put it on the platter. But if you're willing to work for it, if you're willing to put the sweat, the blood, the tears, if you're willing to earn it, they don't give away Bentleys. They're never on sale. If you want one, you can buy it. If you're willing to pay for it. Some of you, your success has messed you up. You're so successful now, you saw. Your success has not benefited you. You've not grown as a result of being successful. You've lost your bite. You're not hungry anymore. Your success is damaging you. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give up, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I challenge you. I challenge you. Challenge you to be the best you can be. Pain is a strange company keeper. It brings the oddest people together. They're the secret fraternity that exists amongst those who have been in pain that is mind boggling. It transcends the color of your skin. It transcends your background. When you've been through certain things, you feel for other people who have been through those things because you relate to them. If you've never had anything to die in your life, you have the kind of optimism that is annoying. If you've never had anything to go wrong in your life, I don't like to hear you preach. It aggravates me. It gets on my nerves because your preaching has not been balanced by failure. If, if you've never had anything to die in your life, don't counsel me because you really don't understand me. Because you, you, you don't know why I am like I am until you've been where I've been. You, if you've never had anything to die in your life, don't sit there and tell me, be a man, take it, don't cry. You don't know what I'm taking. You don't know what I'm enduring. You don't understand. Just because you read some books and took a psych class, that means that you're ready to deal with the issues of my life. There's a reason why it happened at this age. There's a reason why it happened at this level in life. It's not a mistake. It's not an accident. And you can never know my successes until you understand my struggles. Because my struggles are the pathway that led me into my success. Nothing just happens. I want you to think about the things in your life that seemingly make no sense. Some of them were painful, some of them were hard to bear. 
some of them we're going through right now very frightening because you have uncertainty and apprehension and anxiety about what's going to happen out of this. And, and I want you to bathe your soul with these words. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities, the talents given to you by life and that you, for whatever reason, you never went after that dream. You never acted on those ideas. You never used those talents. You never used those gifts. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you and only you could have given us life. And now we must die with you forever. And the question is, if you die today, what dreams, what ideas, what talents, what books, what music, what leadership, what voice will die with you? What if you live your whole life only to discover that it was wrong, that it was wrong? that you were chosen to do something else and you didn't do it. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself from the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. Find somebody that you can help so you can forget about you for a moment. See, sometimes the best thing to do is to be. Sometimes you have to just back up and go within yourself. A bow and arrow, you, you can't take a bow and just push it out and out. You just can't push the arrow out. You have to pull it back and then release it. Sometimes you have to back up and go within and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Don't operate while you are under the spell or the effect of what's going on. Next thing is that you've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. Your mind goes on automatic. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not gonna let this get me down. I'm not gonna let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you go all out. So yes, I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. The next thing that is important is that expect things to get better for you because they are. See, life is cyclic. You're not, what is, whatever experience you're having right now, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. Not to stay, just to pass. It's just going through. The biggest challenge is, is to know what's happening. This is a part of this thing we call life. This too shall pass. And maintaining perspective, putting it in perspective. See, a lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's 
away. I'm unstoppable. You've got to make those kind of declarations to yourself. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. And if I get knocked down, I'm going to be like um, Leo Pascal. You said you're going to have some low moments in life, but when you do, you will have high lows. <laughs> when you work on yourself. What are some of those things that you can do during this period of time? Go for walks. Do some things for you. Just go for a stroll so you can engage in some reflective thinking on life, on yourself, looking and enjoying the universe, smelling the roses along the way. Because you're going to have sometimes low moments when you won't want to get out of bed. You just want to stay there. At times you won't want to come out the house. The times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why what's wrong. I don't know. It's necessary as you look at your goals and your dreams, it's necessary that you have a, a strategy and a game plan to change the story that you believe about yourself. And that's an ongoing process. I've discovered, and many people have, that what we do, what we accomplish, what we produce is a result of the story we believe about ourselves. My favorite book says, Be ye not conformed to this world, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so as I began to work on myself, I realized that I'm getting out of one story and stepping into another story. As I become aware of some things, there's still some things I'm not aware of. So I still, I'm still growing, I'm still developing. I'm like the lady who said, Lord, I ain't what I want to be, ain't what I'm going to be, but thank God I showed what I was. But I realized that, that you have to work on yourself on a regular basis, and write this down, for mental mindset. For mental mindset and stamina. Because things are going to happen to you. I don't believe, I believe that the reason that most people go to their graves with their talents and abilities and skills in them is because of the fact, number one, many are like me. They didn't know that they didn't know and, and thought they knew. I thought I knew myself and I really didn't know myself as well as I thought. I've discovered that sometimes people can take you to a place within yourself that you can't go by yourself. The other reason is I was afraid. I never worked for a major corporation. I wanted to speak for corporations. I was afraid I would, I would be exposed because I don't have a college education. I felt inferior because of the fact that I don't have a college education. I allowed that level of fear of failure to stop me. And because I never had an experience in it, I assumed that I could not do it. I was paralyzing myself by believing and assuming the limited part of myself as opposed to believing that I had something special. You have something special. There's something you want to do. Because you don't know how to do it doesn't mean that you can't learn. I, I like something that I heard. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great.